men of Israel, and ye that fear Elohim, give audience. The Elohim of this people of Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. And with an high arm brought he them out of it. And about the time of forty years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he divided their land to them by lot. And after that he gave unto them judges about the space of four hundred and fifty years, until Samuel the prophet. And afterwards they desired a king. And Elohim gave unto them Shaul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David the son of Yishai, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath Elohim according to his promise, raised unto Israel a saviour, Yeshua, Yehoshua. When John had first preached, when Yohanan had first preached, before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom? Think ye that I am? I am not he. But behold, there cometh after me one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth Elohim, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem, and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Shabbat, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulchre. But Elohim raised him from the dead, and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, Elohim hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he hath raised up Yehoshua again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore he saith also in an, another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. 
for David after he had served his own generation by the will of Elohim fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. But he whom Elohim raised again saw no corruption. Be it known unto you therefore men and brethren that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the Torah of Moshe. Beware therefore lest thou come upon you which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold ye despisers and wonder and perish. For I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. Amen.